Woman, you're stalling. Don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, I can't let die. Get to me. I've got to focus. Yeah. All right, you just need to present on this one. No need to press. Okay, let me just present the monkey. The monkey. The I'm monkey. The monkey. Would have been impossible. Only my legs were injured. Okay. Now I'm gonna go kind of on my lower. Oh. Uh. That's it, I'm gonna see What? Hmm. Okay, wait, let's, let's... Is there anything here that sticks out to you guys? Hmm. The monkey, okay. No, it's probably not the monkey yet. It's probably... Hmm. I can't. Everything seems right. This one seems really sus for some reason. That makes it impossible for me to know the location of the ringmaster's head. Hmm. Um. I don't know. Hmm. Uh. Don't know why. Huh. It's impossible for me to know the location. There's no way of it. So it's something about the location. The birds could have told them. <laughs> yes. They must Go! have been coming in Morse code! Um... Yo? Hmm? Hmm... Yeah? Nothing, I said Ayo. <laughs> oh. Ayo? <laughs> um... Uh. The monkey told him to do it. <laughs> I knew it stuck out to me, um... Okay. Yeah. So we just gonna... need to prove that he could know the situation, right? Could have known. Maybe he, I know. I know. I hate saying that's the monkey, but <laughs> the monkey, monkey likes shiny things, right? Right. The, the monkey. monkey. It's not the monkey. It's, it's not the monkey, monkey here. here. The, the box. Okay. Okay. Box. Why the box? Oh, um. No. The Futuria... The hat, maybe? Maybe it's... Yeah, it's a very shiny getup. You just gotta... I really don't know. Look at the photo again. It's his shiny-ass forehead! <laughs> <laughs> it's his forehead! It's his forehead! Hmm... Or maybe it was the box that was shiny. Fail code. Damn. How Wait, okay, lie? does the contradiction lie in that he couldn't have known where the, where the head was, or...? Yeah, he, he couldn't have known where Russell's head would be. Right? But you're trying to prove that he, would, he wouldn't have known. How would he have known where his head would have been? This? The I, my hat. I don't know. <laughs> This is one of the crimes. Oh, you know you'd even be wearing a hat. Because <laughs> it's one of the crimes. He's shooting us for it. Max's hat. Why would you just randomly be Max's hat? Why would you gamble on that? <laughs> it's the... it's a weird thing to gamble on. The boss, the note, simply. But can you check the note? Oh, it's up, Because maybe there's something that says where he exactly, like the exact place he should have been. That would be stupid. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, okay, let's look at the photo again. Let's look at the photo again. I'm looking at the photo. I'm looking Slow, at the photo. Oh, shiny head. Shiny head. Shiny head. Shiny head. Me, shiny head. Shiny head. Shiny head. Shiny head. Alright, you saw me say. Yes, yes. I'm pretty sure it's the, it's the, the photo of the crime scene. Right? 
Cause, I, guess so. I guess so. But it's just that we don't know what part of the photo contradicts yeah. this. I don't think there's anything else. It can be the bottle, the monkey yet. The bottle. You guys want to get in? I say it's the photo of the crimson. All right. Well, at least that, we have uh, we've kind of narrowed it down. Let's uh let's save. <laughs> All right. That's and... my only guess so far. All right. Ta da! Ta da! I think you were right. Good job. Oh, shit. Fuck. Let's go. <laughs> Let's Actually, go. You didn't really need to lean out of the window, did you? Lean! Lean! <laughs> I love the Are you driving yet, Mr. Wright? I can't even drive anymore. My legs don't work. You already knew ahead of time where the ringmaster's head was going to be. I love what Lean, Charlie. Precisely, I love Lean. Lean. You're silly hinting that you're silly hinting at things that is pointless, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I like your head. Enough <laughs> stalling. How about yeah. you show us some evidence? But, but I did such a good job at hinting. Yes, yes, yes. Hurry up and explain things, Mr. Wright. Maybe you should take a look at this. Look at this photograph. Look at this Take a look at this, buddy. Batman. See, I said it. The key point here is the wooden box. The same wooden box that the victim was found hunched over? The same. The question <clears> is, <throat> who placed the wooden box here? Who? When Ben and company saw the ringmaster, they didn't see him holding a box. Which means that this wooden box was already placed at the scene of the crime. Oh, have to admit, that theory makes a lot of sense. Holy shit. The moment that the bus came falling down was exactly the same moment that the written... The, okay. Was exactly the moment that the ringmaster lifted up this wooden box. Which means that the answer to all these questions is now crystal clear. You... you mean... If the bus were to fall upon the... the point that marked up... Oh! The there wooden would be box! No way, there would be no way that it, There would be no way that it could... What the fuck? I want to, I want to die. I Same. Want to die. There would be no way that it could miss the head of the victim. Yeah! No! Oh no, oh no! Oh, this is unbelievable. Finally, some of these loose ends are starting to tie themselves up. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> now I just gotta keep going, and there's only one way to go from here. Backward. Down! <laughs> so the next question is, who placed that wooden box at the scene? It was Mr. Dingley, Me. of course. He connected to he connected it to a rope, and then he, all he had to do was lower it down. Ah! Allow me to whip some sense into you. Ah! 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 Jesus Christ! The ringmaster's head could have been anywhere when he lifted the box. That's why the box was so specially made. S specially made? Indeed, it had the most peculiar feature. The context of the box. Because he likes the salt and the pepper. Size makes no sense. It's a big What's box. It? He couldn't have known the weight. Oh, maybe the weight made him like struggle a bit. Yeah, a yeah, and box. it bought him enough time to cut the, cut the rope time. loose. Yep. The nice. box has a <laughs> remarkable weight. Weight? According to the court records, it weighs 20 pounds! Just to lift up Just... this wooden box would have required... Oh, I see! One would have to squat down to lift the box up over their body, wouldn't you say? That's exactly what I was trying to point out. Oh, the Phoenix box Wright. is also very large. The box was... A... <laughs> I can't do a bad word. The box had also been carrying handles on either side, doesn't it? That is correct. To lift up the box, you'd have to squat down. Which means that no matter who you are, your head would be approximately in the same place. Uh, fool! Foolish fools. Foolish. <laughs> love you, birds. I love the birds. Does he even bother to listen to me anymore? I've heard what he had to say. 
I must admit, I'm shocked at your imaginative skills. You, 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 did you do it? You placed this wooden box in the plaza? Mr. Wright may have a vivid imagination, but I could never have done that, what he's proposing. What? Mr. Wright, do you recall the original location of Max's bust? Yeah, it was in the cafeteria. It was the cafeteria. Of course I remember. It was on top of the table in the cafeteria. But then what happened to it? I'd like you to remember one important fact, Mr. Wright. I could not possibly leave my lo lodging house by myself. This is where the monkey comes in. Yeah. Ah, that means... You understand what I mean, don't you? Sad face. I may very well have been able to drop the bus from my room. However, how would I have gotten the bus from the cafeteria to my room? Monkey! 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 You see, Mr. Phoenix Wright, explain that! Don't forget, you said, there was no accomplice. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Tell us exactly how the witness would have carried the bus from the cafeteria. Yep, we definitely have a problem here. But this is no place to get perplexed. I've got to get my wits about and... Yeah, I've got to get my wits about me and prove how things happen once and for all. All right, Mr. Wright, let's hear your explanation. How did the witness get the bus from the cafeteria back to his room in the monkey? Mm. <laughs> monkey! 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 Everyone knows monkey. monkey. He loves shiny objects of any size. Oh, like when he stole the ventriloquist's ring. So, are you saying the witness had a money s- <clears throat> Sorry, you- I, I can read it. Oh, sorry. I mean, you actually read it correctly. Of course he didn't order the monkey to steal it. The monkey stole it on his own and then brought it back home. Dang, your mic's lagging a lot, by the way. Are you serious? Hello? Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. I think you're a little too close and it's like, uh, uh, maybe that's why. No, I think, I think I'm too far away. Now it's, now it's nice. Now it's no, nice. I was too far away. That's what I'm Home, saying. home, home. Money lives in Acro's room. Acro's room? Objection. But the bust was bronze, wasn't it? Bronze isn't all that shiny. <laughs> Maybe you should put the whip down sometimes and read the court record. Gee, look at that beef. My, oh, those are some very nice cards he's holding. Cards, yes. Cards, cards. And they are made of platinum, which is very shiny. Platinum. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> money what? is a strong monkey, right? It'd be easy for him to bring the bust back to your room. Uh, if he wasn't able to handle that himself, I'd be on the market for a new roommate. Order, order, order. I like how you said it in advance. I said order, Miss Von Karma. Where is the bust in the question at this moment? Oh, sh yeah, where is it? I, uh, I don't know. We're searching for it as we speak. Mm, uh, this is a rather strange turn of events. But let's say the monkey had not stolen the bus. What would happen then? Well, in that event, something else would have been used as the murder weapon. Hmm. Wait. Then you mean this bust was the murder weapon purely by accident? It's possible. Maybe monkey, Akro saw money's mountain of stolen goods and thought to use one of monkey, them. Monkey. Anyways, ah. I think we've more than proven one critical fact. Namely, that hey it's guys. entirely possible that Akro was the murderer. Hey guys, be critical. <laughs> Run! Oh, that's what I'm waiting for! A moron! That's what it's all about! Mr. Wright argument was so circular, I'm a bit dizzy. However, <laughs> his argument does hold water. There is no denying that. Oh, fuck! Don't seem so flamboozled, especially when it's fraud of an attorney. Flamboozled? You've forgotten the absolute most important thing, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And what is that? Um, you should know! 
Oh, oh me. You, you, you forgot that the fraud of a magical client was spotted at the scene of the crime. Ah! There is no reason to doubt this clown's testimony. Well, that's true. How do you respond to that, Mr. Wright? Nick, don't let her beat you down. I won't. This is my chance to turn this trial around. When the murder occurred, there were two people at the scene of the crime. One was the victim, Russell Berry, and the other was the murderer himself. Answer this, and only this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Who was the mur murderer the clown saw? The monkey! <laughs> Oh, it's not- I don't think it's the one game this time. It's this. I think they it, saw it, this. It's the is it the monkey? No, they saw- they saw the bust. That's why- that's why it looks like Max. Oh. oh. You know, honestly, that's good. We just don't know how it was lifted up into the sky. By the birds! By the birds! By yeah. the birds! I was observing the birds circle in for the kill. Do you like how I walk? Oh, wait, never mind. So what do you guys think? Do you like how Bust? I'd say go for it. All right, let's bust them out. the instincts. <laughs> Echo is a rule of everything. He's like, do you like how I walk? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. I can't walk. I asked you who was the other person Mo saw on the scene. Yeah, what? Was. That evidence has nothing to do with the question. Nice. What? Au contraire, mon frère. It does indeed have something to do with the question. I don't even know oh, the correct. Is it? Au contraire, mon frère. He's, he's, trying to, he's trying to imitate her. I, au contraire, mon frère. Mon frère. Oh, there we go. Au contraire, mon frère. It does indeed have something to do with the question. Uh -huh. Mon frère. Mon frère. Mo said that he saw Max's silhouette. But he did not actually see the man himself. It wasn't a human being he saw. It was a monkey. <laughs> It was, it was a, a jar in the shape of the blue badger. <laughs> How is that possible? It's it was. It was the Miss Monkey Head. It's Miss Monkey Head from Turn About Samurai. What head. Max actually <laughs> saw that night was Max's bust. It was huge. What are you talking huge? about? <laughs> Have you tried using your brain at all in this case? Okay, I'm gonna warn you guys for the next one. Next was one. wearing a cloak. Oh, when Julio warns us, you know what that means. You know what that entails. Same, same. Trigger warning. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not hard. It's not hard. It's just stupid. Okay. Well, still. Like, people say the next thing is the dumbest same. thing in the entire franchise. Oh, it's the, the bird, most, like, isn't it? It's the biggest bird. Biggest leap of logic in the A franchise. This next thing. There's it's no the bird. Reason why you couldn't attach a cloak to the bust? It would be easy to hang off one. Of, sorry. It would be easy to hang one of the one of off. What? It would be easy to hang on. Oh, one one off. Can do it. One can do off of. It would be easy to hang one of off the cards, one off of the. Uh, <laughs> can do it, second, can do it. please. It would be easy to hang one of the cards in the bust's hands. <laughs> yes. I just barely got yeah. through that. I'm slurring my words for some reason. Woo! Phoenix Wright just likes those words. He's drunk. Idiot! Who in the right mind would put a cloak on a bust? It doesn't matter who put it on the bust. Wait a minute now, Mr. Wright. Who put the cloak on the bust? That question of the utmost importance to this case, don't you agree? No! Oh, he caught me. No! Oh, oh. So let's have it, Mr. Wright. Actually, I can Whoa. save right here. This is very convenient. It's right before. Birds. Yeah. Birds. Yeah. It, it, it can't birds. Be. Birds. Do you even have the birds? No, yeah, we, we, have we don't have the birds. That's the thing. Who put the cloak? Okay, this is the dumbest logic Mason attorney. Like, the entire series. Um... It, Okay, so think. Think profile. really stupid. And it is profiles, not uh, not evidence. Wait, yeah. Oh. oh. Was it the monkey again? No, was no, it was it profile. was it Russell himself? It was it Russell. Was, or was it? Yeah, it was Russell. He saw the thing. You know, like, no, because he kind of know. Like maybe he took off his coat, and then like, as he was going, yeah. as he was bending oh, yeah. down to put, you know, you know, to uh, to pick up the box. You, you know, oh yeah, it just happened to so be in the same time, right? It, it just happened to like drop the coat onto the bust. I don't know. Maybe the, the one with access to the coat. So yeah, he must have done it. It's probably so him. Right? If, if 
if we're talking about do it, coward. Really do it, we didn't find do it. It was a wrestle himself. Oh, him? Are you saying that the victim itself, Russell Berry? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The victim himself, you placed the cloak on the bust. Place the cloak isn't really the right way of putting it. What would be the right way of putting it, Mr. Wright? Explain yourself. Nick, do you really have a handle on all this? I'm fine, Maya. I'm finally putting all the pieces together. There's really only one picture I can paint anyways. Alright. So you wanna know what happened that night? So I you wanna know what really well. happened that night? Let's step back in time. Let's go! Acro used a rope to lower the wooden box onto the scene. Then he attached that rope to the bust and dangled the bust out of the out, out of his bedroom window directly above the wooden box. Oh, so it's not the bird. At the same time, oh. <laughs> the ringmaster told Max to wait in, the, in his room and went to the scene. Of course, at the time, the ringmaster was wearing the... Of course, at the time, the ringmaster was wearing Max's costume. Perhaps he didn't want anyone to recognize him that night. But just as he feared, he was spotted at the entrance of the lodging house by none other than a ventriloquist, ventriloquist and his puppet, Ben and Trillo. Um, Daniel, your mic's doing nothing again. Are you serious? Yeah, it's doing something like it. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, yeah no, you're good. Okay. You're good. When the ringmaster arrived at the scene, he bent over to lift the wooden box. And that's when Agro took his chance and released the rope. What? Now what? this is when the magic happens. At the very instant that the bullet... Bu <laughs> What? What? <laughs> Way to waste the drum roll. Sorry. Is that drum roll? I don't know if it's drum roll. Is that drum roll? I don't know. I can't hear it very clearly. At the very instant that the bust hit the victim. <laughs> no oh my god. No fucking way. This is so stupid. <laughs> Yeah, people awesome. say this is the dumbest, like, this is the biggest leap in logic history. Oh, that's so dumb, I love it! You wait yes. Mr. Phoenix Wright. That's great. As much as you try, as much as you scheme, this just isn't true. It can't be. It's still a little early to be getting so upset, Ms. Von Karma. This circus isn't over yet. <gasps> what? No way. Whee! No <laughs> The impact of the bust on the victim threw the cloak up which snagged onto the bust. That impact also caused the sound of sir yeah. That impact also caused the sound a certain witness heard, prompting him to take a look. Your mic's doing it again. Really? That witness was yeah. of course Lawrence Mo Curls the clown. Lawrence Mo Curls. When Mo looked out his window, the cloak had already snagged onto the bust. Now, having completed the crime, Acro naturally went about pulling up the murder weapon. Of course, he had no idea that Mo saw the bust being raised with the cloak dangling on it. Primarily <laughs> because in his wheelchair, he couldn't see out of his window. So he just kept pulling the bust up. Oh, oh, he kept pulling me. Okay, that's how it was fly. That's really funny. And that is how the magical murderer disappearing into the sky came to be. That's so funny. <laughs> so you see, the only person who could have pulled this off is the person who was able to drop the murder weapon from above the crime scene. Acro, it could have only been you. What are you talking about? I was observing the birds. So you're going for the kill. Akro's been playing mind games with all of us. He sure has. But he has come to the end of his rope now. Oh. So? What now? You've graced us with a rather long winded tale. But do you have any evidence to prove that your. Uh, <clears throat> but do you have any evidence to prove that your fairy tale is true? Everything's. In this court, only two things matter. 
the power of evidence, the power of my whip. <laughs> uh, don't forget the power of my gavel as well. <laughs> Mr. Wright, the prosecution brings up a good point. Can we see some evidence? They said they want evidence. I just explained how there could only be one possible murder method. But there's still something unusual about Mo's eyewitness account. Unusual? A contradiction, actually. Hey, then. Use that and get out of this jam. That's enough. Talking amongst yourselves. Uh, proceed, Mr. Wright. Present some evidence to the court that backs your claims. Oh, man. Let's do this. I can't... Oh, wait. Oh, that... I wasn't pressing escape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Mm -hmm. All right. I want hard proof that you unraveled the trick to this testimony. Hmm. Is what the, uh, what uh, is the uh, proof? What exactly. is the proof? Okay. The pepper. Obviously the pepper. Oh. It's obviously oh. the pepper, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you want what something hard. <laughs> you, you want something hard? I actually don't know how to help you because I don't know why this makes sense. I don't understand why. <laughs> what? I don't actually get it either, honestly, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> wanna, do you guys want to all look at the pictures again just to see if we can see anything? That might. Oh. The trophy? Something <laughs> <laughs> there, obviously, because this is during a different time. On hard proof that you have unraveled the trick to this magic cage. Mm. Rope? There is no rope. There's no, There's rope. no rope. We don't have rope. But... The hat. What do you explain maybe it's this now? It, 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 maybe it could be the hat because you know the hat falls off, so it just shows that. Well, let's remember that it had something to do with Mo's testimony. So let's let's think um, back. Mo saw. Mo saw the hat. Mo saw the yeah. Mo saw the hat. Mo saw the hat. Explain with the bust. And he saw it rise up. Rise up. Just the rope. Rise up. And that also explains why the cat was the only thing found in the murder like thing. Yeah. Because the uh, cloak had gotten snacked up. So then... Mm. Uh. I, think, I think the reason why it's hard proof is because it shows that he fell forward. So the hat fell off along with it. The hat that. fell off, plus, yeah, plus it's the only thing found at the crime scene. Yeah. Yeah. I think the hat has been used like three times already in, 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 oh, this, really? in, in this entire case. Nice. It's a very important hat, I guess. Yeah. The problem is Max's three symbols. You know, the silk hat, the, the, old the, kid, hat, the, cloak, the cloak, and the, the white, white roses. <laughs> Those symbols were a problem numerous times during yesterday's proceedings. Yesterday? Two contradictions in Moe's testimony. The silk hat was one. The white roses were the other. But ones. the theory I just presented explains all of these contradictions. Y you fool! Do you have to shut up? Max's <laughs> silk hat was found at the scene of the crime. However, not remember what Moe said yesterday. He testified that the criminal he saw fleeing the scene was wearing a silk hat. There's only one explanation for that. The silk hat that Mo saw was actually the bust. Oh, oh, okay. Oh shit! Oh shit! Sense. That makes sense if you look at it that way. Then he did see the silk hat, well, sort of. Fine, you've got one. But what about the other contradiction? The other contradiction? Remember what that ventriloquist said? In, uh, remember that ventriloquist said in court? He said that he witnessed white roses on Max's chest that night. But the clown's testimony doesn't match. The clown said that there were no white roses. I'd like you, uh, I'd like to see you try and explain that one away. Can you do it, Nick? Of course, I can explain all of it. What was that? Please recall the instant when the cloak snagged onto the bust. If the cloak snagged <laughs> onto the bus, what happened to the white roses? 
No fucking way. Stupid. Oh. Well, that was last two. You saw from the back. Do you get it yet? Do you get it's it yet? Like if the cloak got snagged onto the front of the bust, it means that the white roses would end up on the back of the bust. <laughs> I can see why people think this is the worst case, but it's still really funny. <laughs> Which explains why Mo didn't see them. The white roses were not visible because they were on the back side of the bust. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Hmm. This is quite the shocking state of affairs. Shut the fuck up, phone. Mr. Wright's theory still sounds a bit absurd to me. However, Let's keep things going down this road for a while. Let's see where it leads. Let's do this, Nick. Then maybe Von Karma will finally throw in the towel. No, no, no. no. Oh, I was doing the birds. <laughs> well, so much for that. <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you mind? What is it? You took the time to research our circus, didn't you? Well, yes, I did. Is there something making you think that I didn't? If you did, then maybe you'll understand why I think you're off track. Uh, why is that? Motive. This witness feels an incredible debt of gratitude towards the Ringmaster. Anyone with any relation to the circus is well aware of this. Ah. Whip. Whip. Yes. There's absolutely no way someone like this would kill the Ringmaster. I know why. <laughs> I th you guys get why as well? <laughs> uh, 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 mm. uh, Your Honor. You actually I know why, Daniel? Your story. I, I, I'm pretty sure I do. Alright, well. What about relationship with the Ringmaster and his life up until now? What, what do we do? There's no doubting that Acro deeply respected the Ringmaster. Acro's motive. Hmm. Get back at. It seems that this case isn't over yet. Very well. However, I feel this is a good place to take a break. Okay. I will listen to the rest of Mr. Dingerling's testimony after the recess. I love recess, Bell. <laughs> this court will now take a 15-minute recess. And we'll see you... Wait. We'll see you guys next time. What? On Total Drama Island.